G'day everybody, it's Billy Tabor here, and today we are building a plane. Why? Because I feel like it. Gee, stop asking difficult questions, Charles. No, but seriously, we we're building a plane because I actually accidentally unlocked avionics when I was doing some research. Just, okay, I did. I'm sorry. And and there was a mission which wanted a crew report below 18,000 meters at Skier Perel's defeat or something like that. I don't know. They've all got weird names. Anyway, I was building this plane, and... um. There's a few things that you have to think about when building a plane. One, being the center of mass and the center of lift, because if they're in a particular way, then they'll keep on flipping and all that. I'll talk about that a bit later. And uh, also where the landing gear is, because otherwise you have problems like this. Jeb's excited in the cockpit. He takes off, and oh, damn. All right, anyway, you see that we ran into some problems, but eventually we got it right. Jeb is in the cockpit. He's engaged the SAS. He's launched the engines. And it's slowly, slowly accelerating down the runway. Actually, see, Charles, the funny thing about this takeoff was that the ground next to the runway was actually flatter and smoother than the runway itself. We're going to need to fix that eventually. But anyway, we take off after a bit of time, because jet engines do take a bit of time to get to full power. Now, Jeb is, uh, well, geez, Jeb, I have no idea what you're trying to do. Wow, you daredevil pilot! Anyway, we set the navigation and off we go to Skia Perel's defeat. Anyway, despite Jeb flying like a peacock that had had one too many beers last night, we successfully make it to Skier Pearl's defeat, take our crew report, and now we're just gonna head back. Uh, Jebediah Kerman, this is Ground Control. Charles would just like to know why you're flying like a pelican that had had too many, well, drinks last night. Ground Control, this is Jeb. What was that? Why are you flying like that? What was that? Why are you huh? flying like a mad? Huh? What was that? Cabin crew, prepare for landing. Jeb, you are the only crew on this flight. It's a solo mission. <laughs> Jeb? Jeb? You're, you're kind of... Kind of flying low there. Jeb, you're not, you're not in line with the runway. Oh no, Jeb! Another perfect landing. Well done, Jeb. And it's also really fantastic that we ended up on the runway or landed pretty close to it. Because that means that when we recover this thing, we'll get 100% of the money back minus the fuel that we burnt. Because we can't really recover that. So, successful mission. Woohoo. And I think uh, news of Javidai's success has travelled a bit around the world. Because now, two tourists, Tombold and L Lacey, want to go to space. So, uh, I think it's time to whip up a little bit of a, a spaceship that can take us to space. And I've also got this other mission to gather science data from space, so why not kill two drunk pelicans with one stone? Uh, we'll start with one of those cockpits, might put a parachute, that might be a good idea, you know, just for safety. Uh, maybe a crew cabin as well, because that will be where our lovely tourists stay in. Fantastic! Okay, Jebediah and our tourists are excitedly waiting on the launch pad. Now put this little um, launch stability assistant thingo, which just basically keeps our rocket upright for launch so it doesn't fall over. It's important when you got much bigger rockets, but uh, anyway, without further ado, here we go. And up, up, on our way. And we are now suborbital. Our apoapse is above 70,000 meters, which is the border of the atmosphere, and uh, we are now suborbital. We've still got a bit of fuel left, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, but we've still got almost half our fuel tank left. Maybe, maybe we can go into orbit. I don't think so, but uh, what the hell? Let's just see if we can. <laughs> Okay, we are now in space and our contract parameters are completed for Tom Bold and Lacey. They're happy, they've seen space, they're content with their life. I'm just going to transmit this crew report even though we're not going to get any signs because that will mean that- Oh, jeez, it's clutching up my screen. Yeah, see, we've completed our contract. Let's try and submit some science data from around Kerbin. There we go, we're really knocking off our little goals here. Okay, we're out of fuel now. Yeah, it looks like we still had a bit more to go, but this spacecraft has been more than capable in fulfilling its goal, so I think it's just time to head on back down.
Little did Tombold and Lacey know that when they bought their space tickets, they were also going to be getting a free sauna. Complimentary sauna for those who want to go to space. Yes, such lovely. We are so generous and kind. But do not fear, we have a heat shield, so everyone's safe. Splashdown. Great, our tourists have returned. Let's recover the vessel and get our tourists home safely. And lovely, our tourists are home safely and happy, and everything is all right. Now, Charles, I know this was a slightly shorter episode, but uh, let me know what you thought about it in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like if you liked the video, and uh, subscribe so then you won't miss another video of Kerbal Space Program. See you guys, it's been Billy Tabor. Goodbye.